I'm oh, sorry, the knee pads are taken out here. Uh, you don't need to take those out. Um, this, everything's a little kind of uh, a little more taken apart than it should be just because I uh, replaced my steering bushing last night. So still recovering from that. So the, as you can see, the, um, the 12 volt here coming from the relay, which I intend on just basically stashing in the dash after I kind of you know, wind up and manage these cables. Um, I basically just pretty, I, I really just, um, from coming from the battery side, I snaked it all the way um, through the center console, uh, just up through right here. So it basically uh, it is kind of, uh, you can't even see it, it's just right, it's actually like right under here. So it runs all the way uh, along the side here, all, all the way up here. Um, and uh, I guess you can't see it, but um, yeah, here we go. The, uh, the 12 volt cables running through here uh, under um, this little area right here. Uh, let me go around the other side because I can't see anything. And uh, this is something I kind of wish was, I don't know, I don't really like this solution that much, but yeah, there's some advantages. So basically, uh, again, I'm gonna, you know, uh, wind these cables up just, um, just to kind of manage them, but I just want to make sure that if I ever wanted to extend this or whatever in the future, I'd have, you know, extra cable to do so. Um, but uh, basically, again, running through here, across there, and through there. And uh, what you basically want to do here is, uh, Make sure you put a fuse in line here, and uh, I saw the recommendations were a 10 amp fuse, so that's what I have in here. And then, uh, of course, the other end's running here to the battery terminal, uh, terminal. and uh, you know, basically just something kind of to, to hold down there pretty good. So this is very snug, um, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it for the most part. Um, really, again, the only modifications I had to do was um, run this 12-volt this, uh, power cable, um, up to the front of the car, again, to provide that 12 uh, volt power uh, to the horns when they need it, and to add this relay to splice into that purple and black cable and really just run these um, you know, blue cables in, uh, into the uh, relay itself. And then lastly, just to, to ground the, the, the relay with this cable here, this uh, wire. Um, Aside from that, uh, you don't modify anything else. Uh, I don't really care about cutting to this guy because this wire is pretty old and it's, I would, you know, it's basically rotted. The cable inside is, or the wire inside is you know, still metal, but the outside is just really brittle and um, I <laughs> consider splicing this an improvement. So I don't know if you're able to see this, but let's see if we can get under here and show you what it looks like. You can turn on the flash. There we go. So those are the new horns. The old ones looked exactly the same. They're like this, um, you know, kind of a spiral design. Um, again, one's a low, one's a high. And uh, a lot of these are, are, are uh, pull um, uh, agnostic, I guess. Uh, that's the right word. Uh, basically, you have, uh, these, you have two terminals on the, um, on the horn. And it really doesn't matter which one goes to, to ground and which one goes to your uh, standard 12 volt. Uh, or your switch line. So again, this is the standard line that comes into your um, horn. Uh, and then basic net that provides your 12 volt power when the switch is turned on, which again, the switch activates the relay, the relay sends the power through this uh, line now. Uh, and usually these horns come with little um, connectors so you can connect the ground to basically the, um, the bolt or the, uh, where you, the nut where you secure the, the horn uh, to the DeLorean. Uh, frame, or at least the bracket. So it's the same on the other side. So that's really it. Uh, like I said, I wish I had a, had this guide before because it would have made it a lot easier instead of having to do some trial and error and just read a, a ton of text online um, trying to decipher what the actual method was. Um, but this should be pretty simple for anyone, and this way at least uh, if your horns aren't working, you can easily install new ones that don't cost that much. Again, I'd say the horns themselves are about 15 bucks a piece. The relay should be like 250. The cable, uh, you know, a couple bucks at Home Depot, and the connectors, uh, again, pretty cheap, just a couple bucks, like five bucks for the uh, um, pack of them. And uh, you can make sure that if people try to hit your car. You can let them know not to do, not to do so. Uh, cause <laughs> I've had a lot of cases of that lately, um, and it's really kind of scary. You don't have a horn because you can't tell them they're about to hit you. So at least this way, now they'll know I'm there. 
And uh, this is the guide for uh, how to install uh, newer horns uh, in your DeLorean. Thanks.